currently we find ourselves at the Great Atlantic Hall and we'll be speaking to some freshers, some executives and of course some guardians to find out their mood, their expectation and of course how, what, what they want to see as they come to school this day. So I am not here alone of course, I am here with my one and only host Onisiferous Obobi. Obobi, so what's up? Well, Belinda, I'm cool. I think today is exactly 13 years when I also stepped foot on the campus of the University of Cape Coast anyway. So uh, she's mentioned it all. You get closer to the first years, get closer to the appearance of the whole executive to find out more whom they are missing, the program they're going to study, their expectations. And now remember, if there's the first time you're watching us on TV UCC, hit the subscribe button so that anytime we come your way, you get the notification first. Now, the notification wouldn't come automatically. You would have to hit the notification bell. And then uh, you, you click all so that anytime we come here with every new content from TV UCC, you'll be the first to get this content. Remember, stick and stay with us as we bring you the interviews. We find out their mood and the excitement they carry through as we welcome the freshers of UCC. Anyway, so um, what are your expectations as, you, as you've come to UCC? Um, the expectations, mm, I know UCC is stressful though, so what I'm expecting, it's, it's nothing much. I know that we are going to learn a lot and yeah, and I'm just praying that um, what, I mean, the expectations I brought there or the, what I determined, I mean, I will just, I'll be able to do it, you know. But right here with me, I have a fresh student here with me, and she's by the name Millicent. Millicent, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? Oh, I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. And so, um, where are you coming from this morning? Oh, Teshi. Teshi. Is it, so, how long did it take you to get here? Um, I think four hours. Three, four hours. So then I suppose you set out pretty early. <laughs> oh, okay, well done. Anyway, um, so like, what program are you reading? Forensic Science. You are reading for hey, hello, I've been pal. So, what are some myths that you heard before coming? Okay, I heard you've been going for preps, and it's strict. Maybe on Saturdays you'll be having um, squeeze and other stuffs. Oh, okay. I mean, some of them, I mean, are just they are not true. But I wish you all the best, and I hope you get your you complete with your first class. Thank. You. I'm here with lovely princess and her dad. Mr. Benning. Okay, thank you very um, welcome, and then thank you very much for bringing your daughter to school. Um, so uh, I just want to find out what are um, your expectations and then the feelings that come with it as you come to UCC. Uh, it feels somehow, but it's cool, and it boosts you when you hear about the lifestyle of UCC. So when you come, you focus on only one thing, and you have more aspirations to do better things. Okay, so what do you expect as a student of UCC? I expect that when I come here, some things won't change the li my lifestyle and I'll focus on what I came to do here. Okay, that's all. So, Daddy, what do you also expect of your daughter? I, okay, anyway, it is a wish of a parent to see her children going through education so that future, they will also be better in the society. Yeah. So, uh, for me to see her through her education, yeah. Uh, I'm watching Tony Kwame. Okay, so um, Kwame, tell us, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Kumasi, Ebuaka. Wow, Kumasi. I mean, so I'm from Kumasi. Oh. So what school did you complete? I completed the 72 senior high school. Oh, okay, so if I say Aubrey Pong? Uh, I can see it. Aubrey Pong? I can see it. Okay, so that's very nice of you. Um, so um, what program are you here to study? Uh, BSc Biochemistry. Hey, my Kumasi guy, what be you? Oh, okay, so um, what are your expectations? Okay, I have so many expectations here, but one thing is like they said in what things we have to do it, we have to seek God first, yeah. So I'll be really like I'll be putting God first in so many things, and two is to study hard, yeah, and get a better let's say a better CGPA because that's that's what I came here for. So, yeah, that those are my expectations I have. Yeah, to get a better GPA or, or to study hard and to is to see God or to be with God most of the time. Yeah, that's it. Hey, God will move power. And I say, oh, she's a man. Oh, Jamani, the old guy, oh, old guy, oh, she's a man. Oh, she's a guy, 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 oh, she's a gu
Please, I'm fine. By God's grace. And oh, that's nice. I like your shirt too. Where did you get it? I had it from my mom. Hey, mommy's boy. <laughs> ah, look at his smile. Okay, anyway, so welcome to UCC. Um, so um, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Suedro. Aguna Suedro. Aguna Suedro. So like, what time did you set off? I set off around 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Hey, no, I bet you hand them power. Okay, that's very nice. That's very nice. Um, so I just want to find out what are your expectations as a fresh student of uh, University of Cape Coast? Okay, I'm expecting nothing but the best. Yeah, and by God's grace, in the next four years, I want to come out with a first class. With a first class. Wow, wow. Thumbs up. So what program are you here to read? A Bachelor of Science, Medical Laboratory Sciences. Hey, brother. So I've been star. Oh, okay, that's very nice of you. I'm um, so like, um, what are your feelings? I mean... Any emotions that you are feeling? Am I afraid? Am I happy? Can I do it? Oh, yeah. I, I, by God's grace, I'm optimistic that I will do it by God's grace. I can and I will. Well, I think this year so far so good. I'm saying this because over the years, we used to have pleasure in terms of people trooping in. But because of how we have organized ourselves, I think we are witness to the fact that everything is being done orderly. That alone tells us that we have put our house in order. This notwithstanding, AT Hall is about 60 years now. So you wouldn't expect things happening in, let's say, Kwame Nkroma and other halls, new things that you are seeing. But in spite of all this, we have done what will support our students. And you can see everybody's uh, face is boomed with smiles. That tells you that they are comfortably welcomed in the hall. So I think that is ATL for you. Thank you, sir. And please, uh, how many number of students are you expecting to be admitted here at the hall? Well, per quota, I think we were to travel around 750. That's around that figure. Uh, but yeah, that is what the university is uh, allocating to the hall. Uh, but, well, uh, challenges with uh, rooms and all that. So that is the expectation, that is the university expectation though. Uh, we are faced with other challenges. But in spite of challenges, if you are able to overcome, then you become champion. So we are doing our possible best to make sure that things go as expected. Um, then have you uh, faced any challenges with the process so far, the student trooping in, any guardian issues and all that? Well, so far, we have had situations where some students, for whatever reason, couldn't get access to the portal, so then not able to select their rooms. And we've been trying to make sure that some of these issues are ironed out. In particular, this morning, we've been able to get about 10 of them, and we've made provision for them. We are trying to liaise with other halls because where we are not able to accommodate and there are spaces in other halls, then we'll make sure that we liaise. Okay. After all, we are in uh, the same university and we're trying to support each other. So where our capacities are not able to support, then we'll liaise with other halls to see how things will go. And then lastly, sir, please, what are your expectations from the fresh students? Yeah. Thank you very much. The expectation from uh, fresh students among others will have to do with comporting themselves to the ethics and ethos of the university. We we'll expect that they allow the university to pass through them so that they don't just walk around to go away. But having come here, the university that is here to get is comparable. The university that is rated first in Ghana, university that is rated uh, first in West Africa, fourth in what is it, uh, Africa, and even research component, the whole world being seen as such. We expect that they put in their maximum base, they behave as such, so that uh, whatever name that we have won for the university, they will be able to also add to what they have come to uh, meet. In all, we are expecting them to behave well, so that ATL will also uh, be seen as such.
Okay, so before coming here, we passed by some halls and then we realized that some of them were a bit congested and the process was a little too slow. Tell us um, the measures you put in place to make Atlantic Hall's process uh, more easy to move. Yeah, I think we deploy the cadet. The cadet, they've been doing this work over, over the years for us and then we give them orientation. So we have a group of them in front of the hall who really receive the students from the car then we have a number of them who escort them inside and also when you come under the shed there's one shed where they all go and sit and there's another shed where our officers are who go through the various processes so it's easy to do that when you have that set up okay Thank you very much. Um, so do you have any words for the fresh students, what they are supposed to know, what they are supposed to not do? Uh, my advice to the fresh student is that since they are new on campus, they should always read notices and take advice and the, and the orientation that uh, they will be organizing for them. They should make sure they attend all orientation programs. But that is where they will be able to know uh, the rules and regulations of this university.